Hello, Richard One, said Hell, will be covering the noodle fly. Because of the incredible life support, these creatures will set them into three groups. Adult children and eggs group will cover the basics of the behavior of these lynch creatures. First, we will talk about the eggs, the beginning of a noodle fly. The eggs of the noodle fly come into colors orange and red. Noodle fly eggs are often found quite closely. It's unknown if separate noodle flies do this, however, due to the aggression it is unlikely. The anatomy of the noodle fly egg is quite simple. The core of the egg, which appears to be where the embryo of the noodle fly is located, this area often vibrates and shifts its shade of color time to time, hinting towards the embryo is growing. The egg itself has a stem connected to it. The stem is shaped in a strange bulbous shape which pulsates time to time. Strangely, even if the egg has been picked, it will still pulse it. The egg can be disconnected from the stem when a force has been put on it, such as a rock or simply picking it, with the stem showing little resistance. The shell of the noodle fly is made out of a hard material able to withstand any force thrown at its spears, rocks, etc. Nothing can destroy the noodle fly egg because of this hard shell. The plates of the egg also can be seen to retract, most likely loosing as the egg develops. When the egg is kept, an isolated area for a long period, the egg will hout, with two noodle flies emerging still connected to the sticky insides from the egg. Seeing this beautiful spectacle can drive a creature to tears. If a noodle flea is born without it, mother it will follow a creature, but will distance itself from it. However, if it finds a lot, noodle flea it will join it. When killed, it will release a high-pitched screech, alerting any adult in a wide radius and will come to the location to find the perpetrator. However, adults will often assume a closest creature, killing it leading to some mischievous actions. The diet of the noodle flies is completely unknown, but due to its own mouth, it's most likely the noodle fly is small. Insects. Infants are completely capable of defending themselves. This could be from how they haven't fully grown yet. Infants are incredibly weak and a simple grab can easily kill them, along with gas apples, spears, and 15-ish rocks. Now let's move on to their appearances. Noodle flies have two oval eyes like earth insects. It's likely noodle flies have bad vision, as even when they are facing their chilled murder, they still get it wrong. Noodle flies have four wings, similar to center wings and even spicadas, which is interesting. Moving to the legs, we see infants have two, and the adults have six. Adults have two back legs and four front ones. These legs are most likely used to help with swimming and crawling through the pipes in this old world. Noodle flies have a large stripe in the middle which is usually lighter compared to the rest of its body. Here is a size comparison of an infant and adult. Sometimes most of the infants will go into one shelter and the parent chooses another. Infants are distant from predators and stay close to their parents. Without an adult, it will become more independent. Infants can be seen grabbing onto their parents. It's unknown if this is a mating feature similar to earth and the fish. It could be the infants are collecting blood for nutrients, or if they're simply taking a ride. It's actually possible infants are completely incapable of feeding, and that adults are blood from their victims that infants drink from the adults' tails. Adult noodle flies indeed have a reputation system. Throwing rocks at them and attacking infants will bring down your reputation to these already paranoid parents. The worse your reputation system is, the more kill on sight you are for adults. Infants, however, don't care. If multiple adults meet, they will immediately joust to the death, resulting in one or both death. Noodle flies have a wide range of colors. For infants, they range from gray to red. Compared to the infants, the adults are much more vibrant, with some being blue, red, purple, gray, or black. The genotypes are easily expressed from testing, with red and black being the most common, the legendaries and others being more rare, such as purple, gray, or blue. Despite its main stabbing attack, adults actually have a secret weapon inside them. If popped by their spear, a creature will get paralyzed for a short amount of time and will be damaged by the same amount as a rock. Adults are amazing dodgers. If a rock or spear or anything is thrown at adult, 
will usually dodge it. Adults often give warnings to sir cats. If you pick up an egg or did in front, it will get its spear out. If you let go of these prized possessions, it will refrain from attacking you, however. If you have eaten an infant, killed it, or just pissed it off, but it will lunge at you with its stabbing attack, and will usually get stuck on the floor where its main vulnerability is. If we're curious to how long they can survive holding their breath, the answer is around 25 seconds for both adults and infants. Perhaps you learned something from this idea, because I really did. Please tell me if you want more little documentaries like this.